Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get right to our top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. We're learning new details from the arrest of the man who police say confessed to killing two-year-old Amari Nicholson. Terrell Rhodes, the boyfriend of Amari's mother, was arrested a week after reporting Amari missing. He was placed in an interview room at Metro headquarters. Now, according to the report, he tried to pull his hand out of the handcuff, saying, let me out of here and I can't go back. Police say then he grabbed or tried to grab the detective's firearm and threatened to kill someone. After being subdued, he said, I want to die and kill me. Rhodes is set to appear back in court on Tuesday. The Nevada Supreme Court reversed a judge's decision to throw out an attempted murder case. The trial was set to start in February of last year, but after opening statements, prosecutors asked for a brief delay because witnesses had not arrived. In response, Judge Elizabeth Gonzalez dismissed the charges. Now the Nevada Supreme Court says the judge abused her discretion and should not have thrown out the case to punish the prosecutors. The court ordered a new trial in the case. Over in Carson City, Democrats are pushing for Assembly Bill 488 to keep the $1 technology fee on DMV transactions. This comes after the Nevada Supreme Court ruled this month that two bills passed in 2019 to extend this fee and a business tax were unconstitutional because they did not pass a two-thirds vote. That money now has to be refunded. Uh, but Democrats are saying this actually could cost more to refund the money we're talking about, about $5 million, than it would to simply keep it. So there is a bill that would make the fee retroactive and would keep the fee in place going forward. Now this bill, they learned their lesson, this bill will require a two-thirds supermajority to pass. There has been some pushback from Republicans on this bill though, and we will see what comes of it in the final days of the legislature. Honoring our fallen heroes, volunteers with the Klein Veterans Fund placed American flags on the graves of veterans at Bunkers Eden Vale Memorial Park. The charity has been organizing these flags in events for more than a decade. The flags are placed twice a year before Memorial Day and before Veterans Day. The Klein Veterans Fund was started here in Las Vegas in 1993 to help veterans in Nevada who were down on their luck. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, Love Your Smile Again, it's a story you'll only hear in Vegas. Local pop-up clinics here in the Valley are offering not just COVID vaccines, but doses of silly fun. Review Journal's Jen Ah explains. Good morning, Jen. Good morning to you, Renee. Maybe I should have waited to get my shot so I could have all this fun afterwards. At the sign saying, welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. Those who got their vaccines at the pop-up clinic there also got to pose for some Instagrammable photos with an Elvis impersonator earlier this week. Health officials say they're getting creative for a reason. So now one of their focuses is on overcoming some people's indifference to getting vaccinated. People who think they're too busy, it's not convenient enough. Larry Flint's Hustler Club also helped host a pop-up clinic with a more naughty flair. We hear 68 people got vaccinated at that event. Again, something you'll probably only see here in Vegas. Renee. Now let's take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Sunny skies forecasted for your Thursday. Highs near 96 degrees today with light winds. Lows in the low 70s. Heading into Memorial Day weekend, we will stay in the upper 90s on Friday. But by Memorial Day, it's going to be a hot one. Upper 90s turning possibly into 101 degrees by the holiday. We could stay in the low 100s at the start of your work week. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 on YouTube today. Don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, signs of post-pandemic recovery over at McCarran International Airport. Passenger volume continues on an upward trend. A total of 2.9 million travelers passed through the airport gates in April. That's a 13% increase from March. And as COVID restrictions continue to be lifted, experts say this upward trend is likely to continue. Though April numbers are still 32% lower than that of April of 2019, an airport spokesperson says comparing these numbers to 2019 is the best way to gauge recovery levels. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, a staple of the late night scene on the Las Vegas Strip is coming back. 
Mayfair After Dark returns this weekend to the Mayfair Supper Club at the Bellagio. The late night show features a mix of dancing and music along with gourmet food and bottle service. The producers say they are channeling everything people love about the experience and taking it to the next level with show stopping duets, big dance numbers and much more. Good morning everybody, Leandre Fox here with your morning sports update. The Golden Knights failed to put away the Minnesota Wild in Game 6, losing 3-0 after the teams entered the third period with no points on the board. The best of seven West Division first round playoff series is tied at 3-3 and Game 7 is set for Friday at T-Mobile Arena. The Colorado Avalanche await the winner. I think you got two good defensive teams. I think uh, uh, we're on the road and um, you know, it wasn't for lack of effort. I think it was a really hard fought game at ice level both ways. And, you know, it, as the game went on, you felt like whoever got that first goal was, was probably going to win. And uh, that's what happened. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Los Angeles Lakers stole home court advantage from the Phoenix Suns with a 109 to 102 win Tuesday in game two of their first round NBA playoff series. The Lakers are six and a half point favorites over the Suns in game three tonight at the Staples Center and the total is 210 and a half. LA is a minus 360 favorite to win the series and Phoenix is a three to one underdog. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, you can add the Kardashians to the list of celebrities you'll find at Resorts World. The new hotel casino on the North Las Vegas Strip will host Kardashian Closet, where shoppers can buy clothes worn by members of the first family of reality TV. So Kardashian Closet is an offshoot of the e-commerce site where members of the Kardashian-Jenner family sell clothes that they've previously worn. The boutique at Resorts World, though, is going to be the first time where people can actually see the items and try them on. The lineup for the boutique hasn't been revealed yet, but based on the website, there's a pretty wide range of prices. If you're looking for some of Kim Kardashian West's leggings, for example, they go from $40 for Lululemon up to some from Atelier Versace that will set you back about $6,500. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.